Alright, I'm gonna try mine guys. Hey, what's up guys? So we got a really special video today with some special guests. We have Bill and Lisa here. Hi! Yeah. Oh yeah, it's Bill and Lisa. We have a, a food and travel YouTube channel. Yeah, Bill and Lisa's travel vlog. Yep, yep, check it out. And we're ready to go eat. Yes, okay. yes. And we're in LA right now and we're about to get some barbacoa Iberia. So oh, yeah. it's a little pop-up shop out here. So we're gonna try it. Let's do it. This is Julio. He is the owner of Barbacoa Tasco Guerrero. We have barbacoa and we have birria and broth. We have handmade tortillas every day. We're here uh, Saturdays and Sundays from 7 in the morning until 2 in the afternoon. We've been selling here for about 13 years now. And yeah, we specialize in lamb and goat meats. Shout out it. to Dan versus World. Me. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Una orden. Me das una más, Camila. Say what's up, guys. All right, guys. So our tacos are here. It smells good. And you know, with all the cilantro, the onions, and the braised meat, it smells like fun. Yeah. <laughs> So Bill and Lisa are gonna take their first bite, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's see. So we got the Bidia and the Barbacoa. Which one is that one? I have the Bidia only. Bidia? Okay, try it. Oh yeah, okay, try that one out. Let's see it. Ooh, nice. A lot of color to it. Okay. Oh wow. The meat is really soft. Really flavorful. It really has a good seasoning to it. Nice. It's good. Yeah, well, this is the barbacoa. Barbacoa. Which uh, I really don't know what the difference between the two is. But I think the birria is more, uh, it has like a chili, green chili sauce. A little mm -hmm. bit spicier. Barbacoa is just, just a shredded meat. Alright, let's give this a try. It's good now. It is good. I definitely tender stewed meat. It's really good. Not, um, not overly spicy. Yeah. And they give you so much meat though. A lot. Yep. I'm gonna try mine guys. So, I got both the barbacoa and the birria. I'm gonna try the birria first. This is the birria, right? Yep, with the red sauce. Mm. So they use the authentic goat meat. It's not beef. Nice and tender. There's definitely a kick from the beer sauce. It's a light hint of spiciness. A lot of chilies. And yeah, I drowned it in this green salsa right here. I love green salsa. It's pretty good. So, I'm gonna try the barbacoa one now. Mm. This one is a lot juicier for some reason. I feel like the barbacoa is juicier. You taste more of the meat rather than the beer sauce. And like me and Lisa were saying that we're surprised that this was goat because we're so used to birria beef, birria tacos, but this is how it should be made. And yeah, the goat is actually really juicy. There's a gamier taste to it. Definitely an aroma. But overall, it's really juicy and delicious. Far guys. Take one more piece of this one right here. This is my favorite one, the barbacoa. I loaded it with green sauce. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the meat is really juicy. It's actually pretty fatty. I was watching the owner make it over there and he was just taking the meat straight off of a huge goat leg. And the meat was falling right off and it's similar right now. It's just really juicy and tender. Really juicy. This is the consomme. Apparently you eat it with the barbacoa tacos. So let's try it out. There's garbanzo beans in there. It's a nice hearty soup. Some rice in this. Nice. It's kind of like Vietnamese food when we're served like a meat dish. It comes with soup. This is like the Mexican version of that, I guess. <laughs> so I was telling Bill and Lisa, I think I ordered too much because I wasn't expecting these tacos to be that this big, but look how big these are, guys. So yeah, that's another plus to this place. Big portions. 
so we just finished our meal. It was great. Final thoughts, guys? Oh man, I recommend that barbacoa. If you ever make it out of here, it's so juicy, and that was my favorite. Yeah, everything was really good here. Good recommendation yeah. that he gave us. Yep. Definitely. Yeah. That was good stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely unique tacos. I think their selling point is definitely the the meat. The meat was just really juicy, but you definitely got to use their salsa and. I would say it's more on the bland side, you taste more of the meat. Usually goat is gamey, but the goat here was not. It was really juicy and tender. And yeah, they did it, they did it right, guys. They did. They did. If you guys want to see more, like this video, comment down below where we should try next, and subscribe for more food vlogs. Deuces. <laughs>